So this is Rainier's original engine one. It's a 1936 Chevrolet, and that was what replaced all the hose carts back in the back in the day. We had this engine in the back of the station house, but of course it was retired, and it was just parked back there. And the firefighters association got together and they refurbished it back like it like it was when it was new. And it does it does work. If you can fight fire with it, but compared to the new engines, it's kind of it's kind of small. But it's a, great to have a, a Rainier's original engine. Another view of Rainier's original engine. And kind of a head-on view. Notice it even has the spot for the hand crank if you. If it wouldn't start with the electric starter, you had to had the spot for the hand crank right here in the bottom of the grill to start the engine by hand. And here's the driver's the steering wheel and the gauges and stuff. And I never drove this engine. I never have driven it. We had a firefighter who lost his life a few years ago to a drunk driver. And when Al Jeffers was taken to Hudson Cemetery, I drove engine one with his wife Anna and their two kids. And Al was in the in his casket in the hose bed here of the 36. So we, he had a good fire department funeral, but wish we wish to soon keep Al around. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And there you see a Rainier Fire Department on the, on the side, and right down here is where the this is the input right here. This is this is in. 